The Harvest Birds by Blanca Lopez de Mariscal, illustrated by Linda Kane. Essential question: What do traditional tales tell readers about life? In a little town where everyone knew everyone, there lived a young man called Juan Sanate. He was given this name because he was always seen with one or two sanate birds. Juan used to sit under his favorite tree, dreaming and planning his life. He had wanted to have his own land, as his father and grandfather had. However, when his father died and the land was divided, there was enough for only his two older brothers. Because of this. Juan had to go to work in the shops of the town. If only I had my own land, my life would be different. Juan thought. He went to see Don Tobias, the richest man in town, and asked to borrow a little piece of his land. Don Tobias burst out laughing, and his wife laughed with him. Why should I let you use my land? He asked. You don't know anything about making things grow. Sad and ashamed, Juan returned to sit under his tree. It was the only place where he felt really happy. In its huge branches lived a flock of sonate birds, who were so used to him that they thought of him as their friend. There was one bird who cared very much for Juan, and wanted him to find his way in life. This bird was always around Juan, resting on his shoulder or riding on his hat. Juan named him Grajo or Crow, because sonates have black feathers. After sitting and thinking for a long time. Juan decided to visit the oldest man of the town. Old people know many things because they've lived longer. Juan thought, "He'll give me some advice, and maybe he'll even help me." Juan greeted the old man, whom everyone called Grandpa Chon, with respect. The old man seemed to be in a good mood, so Juan dared to ask him for a piece of land. Let me prove to you that I can be a good farmer and make things grow," he begged. Grand Pochon became serious. "I will help you," he said. "I will let you use some land. If you fail, however, you must work for me for free for as many days as you have used my land." Juan ran into the town, shouting the good news. Instead of being happy for him, though, people laughed at him. Better you should straighten up at my shop, where you plant, not even weeds will grow. Shouted the carpenter. Don't waste your time, Juan. Come and work on this wheel. Called the blacksmith. Help me with these sacks of flour and stop dreaming. Added the baker. Juan decided that nothing anyone said would stop him. It's time to get to work, he told himself. He, be he began to prepare his land for planting. It was a very tiny patch of land and didn't offer much promise of a big harvest. Still, Juan kept working, watched over by his good friends, the Sanates. My head is small, like my garden patch, but it is big enough to hold many dreams," thought Juan. He needed seeds to plant, but didn't have money to buy them, so he went to the shop and asked for some. Juan, sweep up the corn, bean, and squash seeds from my floor and take them to my pigs," the shop owner said. Then, if you wish, you can take some seeds for yourself. Juan was happy.
because now he had seeds to plant. He didn't scare away the cenotes the way the other farmers did. Instead, he gave them some of his leftover seeds to eat so they wouldn't be hungry. After all, the cenotes were his friends, and he cared for them very much. Graho was always with him, giving him advice as he worked. Days passed, and the tiny plants began to appear. Little shoots of weeds came up along with them. The cenotes told Juan not to throw the weeds away as the other farmers did. Plant them on the borders of your land, said the birds. When the other farmers heard what Juan was doing, they laughed at him. Imagine keeping weeds in your field! At harvest time, everyone was waiting to make fun of Juan once again. They were sure he would fail. When Juan arrived in town, everyone was amazed. He brought a wonderful harvest, huge ears of corn, brightly colored squashes, and tasty-looking beans. How did you do it? They all wanted to know. Juan smiled and answered, I did it with the help of my friends, the Sanates, the harvest birds. I learned to listen to the voice of nature. Work for me, Juan, everyone shouted. Teach me your secrets. No, answered the old man. Juan works for no one now, because I am going to give him the land that he harvested. After selling the crop at an excellent price, Juan Sanate and Grand Pachon returned to the little patch of land that was now Juan's. The old man asked Juan to tell him his secret. The Sanates taught me that all plants are like brothers and sisters, replied Juan. If you separate them, they become sad and won't grow. If you respect them and leave them together, they will grow happily and be content. <laughs> فالعلم خير معين وتقرب به إلى الله رب العالمين